darkest moments hi this is angela nurenda you're watching the rooftop with ken one we should pay for label kisha iwe into twali ya maiche kale kufaya nomba maisako kanomba na ukura ni mboma she baby will live kiss I will Nice sack of white chalo chonse No money musanga ule mone kape we know now kula nimbo mae nimbo mae Umfwa Mayo wandi umfwi kishe Kankwebeko Tipano pachalo tapaka be puli wonse u kampel en san sanga iwe mayo wandi un fui kishe ati inen kumona fe un chilo tu yonse nga waisa yonse bu chilo tu iwe ya kufulu ka yonse no maniri sa tu kamuna na bantu yonse nga na ibu kisha dalole la la fuwanda ibe dalole la la fuwande ibu kisha iwe lintu chwani ya maiche kale kufaya nomba mwaisa kuja nomba na ukula ni mbo mai ushe baby ure ibu kisha iwe naisa kufaya chalo chonse nomba ni kusanga ule mwone kafe wino na ukula ni mbo mai ni mbo mai yeah 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 Oh oh Um fui que che na ti ma yo andi iwe Ine pano na um fwa fe wino Na um fwa fi jazi kuti na kusanga nomba Kusanga la de kushani iwe Ine pano na um fwa fe wino Na um fwa fi jazi kuti na kusanga we Oh oh Isapa no chulande Oh 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 Baby, ule ibu kisha iwe Nintu chwani ya baiche Nale kufaya nomba maisa ku Nomba na ukula ni mbo mai Ushe baby, ule ibu kisha iwe Naisa kufaya chalo chonse Nomba ni kusanga ule mwone kafe wino Na ukula ni mbo mai Ni mbo mai Ni mbo mai Ni mbo mai Hi, this is the Zambian Kim Factor. Kim Factor. Siyende pabuzi na mtima uwe. Yes, celebrate Zambia. Yes, mother Zambia. We are the Zambian Film Factory. Zambian Film Factory. This is what we do, baby. To kana ulugori, gender violence, to push an idea she dia egesi. Aha, 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 aha. Me ya fika ku, how did you believe? Let's have Translating ideas into real life production.
great productivity, beautiful ideas, creative concepts. We are the Zambian Film Factory. <laughs> The Zambian Film Factory. The power to become. Zion, your time is now to shine. Film Factory. Film Factory, the power to become. All right, so Lusaka City, ZNBC and Zambia, welcome to today's episode of The Rooftop. And yes, I'm your host and I'm yours truly, Ken One, standing on top of Lusaka City. Like every other episode, be guaranteed to be entertained. And remember that this is a place where we keep it 100% Zambian music and we throw you back to the early days of Zambian music. And we also get to show you the beautiful view of Lusaka City. And yes, we get to show you the area view of Lusaka City. Except I'm excited about today's episode because I have got a legend in the music industry and uh, he's done a lot of works, contributed a lot, uh, you know, to the Zambian music industry. Released five hit albums, non-stop, album after album after album, and I mean all the songs on the albums were hits. I went a bit quiet and people have been asking, where is this guy, where is this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Chameleon. He is my guest on today's show. And earlier on, we kick-started the show with uh, an acoustic performance of his song uh, way from way back as 2007. And that's the song entitled Ulei Bukisha. Of the second album, the second album entitled My Music. Right now, join me as I talk to him and we get chatting with my guest on the show, Chameleon. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you very much. Thank and I should I say welcome to Zambia because I know you've, you've been away a bit. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Let's begin. Yours is a bit broad because, you know, legendary, five albums on point. But let's take it back to you as an upcoming artist, how you began this music, you introduced R&B. How did the journey start? It's actually 13 albums. <laughs> <laughs> 13 albums, yeah. but five like were the most dominant okay. back to back. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So let's 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 take All it back right. to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um geez, um we started way, way back. Mm -hmm. 2004, somewhere there, yeah. I met Charlie Mulalami, the one who introduced me to the industry and yeah, the rest is history, but that's where we started from. Okay. From Sling Beats, uh, Charlie Lanami is the one that introduced me to music. All right. Yeah. I've always wanted to find out about your name, Chameleon. How did that come up? Where did it come up? How? And and what are your real names? Uh, Leo Moyo, those are my names. And uh, the way we came up with the name, when I got to the studio, they asked me to audition. So I sang different styles of music like reggae, R&B and all the other styles without any issues. So when it came to choosing the name, we just went with the name Chameleon because, you know, mm -hmm. being able to change uh, styles and stuff, colors. So yeah, that's how we came up with it. But there's another Chameleon in Uganda, mm -hmm. so we didn't want to spell uh, ours as CH. Mm -hmm. We spelled it as K. As K. Mm. All right. We used the K. Okay, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about you and working with Chadi. I think yeah. you guys made magic together. You, you brought us music yeah. that has stood the test of time. Up to today, we still, you know, get back to that music and listen yeah. to it. How was, you know, working with Chadi at a time? And what is your relationship right now with Chadi? Okay, so um, we, we had too much freedom when it came to making music. We, we would just sit outside and play the guitar and then one would come up with the melodies and then the other one would come up with the lyrics and that's how it all came together. But he gave us the freedom to explore our talents. Mampi, Taitu, Hamowa, we all started from there. So we'd just sit outside and we'd make music and that was the beauty of it all. It wasn't like, you know, you're on the spot, your album has to be done, so work as hard as you can. No, it was work according to how you feel, you know, you at that moment. If you're not feeling it, don't work. So that, that was the beauty of uh, making music that would last a long time. Okay. Yeah. But our relationship is good. We still work together. He's my big man, always, uh, always been. We still talk. Uh, I'm actually going to see him later on. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. Let's talk about the writing of music. Uh, because of late, you know, a lot of people have been asking. Most mm. of Chameleon's uh, music was written by Charlie. Um, but I want to find out how was the writing business when it came to your music? Did you write 100% of your music or you wrote some songs off your albums? I'll tell you how we used to write our music. 
I would be at home, I would record uh, the first verse of, like, okay, the way we did Kakabalik. Mm -hmm. I slept, uh, I dreamt of it, I dreamt of the lyrics, and in the morning I recorded the first verse, the chorus and the first verse. So Charlie did the second verse and the bridge. And we kept doing it like that. So he would come up with the first verse, I would come up with the second verse. Or I would come up with a chorus, and then I would tell him, here's the song, write the verses. So just like that, we'd interchange all the time. So it was full participation yeah, from both parties? full participation from both sides. Okay, all right. Yeah. Let's talk about your albums, Chameleon. Um, you said you've got 13 albums to yeah. your name. And in my intro, I said you've got uh, five <laughs> dominant albums that were okay. back to back. Okay. Um, run us through, you know, your, your, your albums, you know, starting obviously with the first five going up and uh, maybe just mention one or two songs of the album. So, I know it's a very difficult <laughs> task because each 13 yeah, is like you. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first one was uh, self-titled, Chameleon. Mm -hmm. That's where we had the Buela and um, the um, New Awake, New Awake yeah. Fires and all those. Then the second one was My Music. That's where Kakavalika was. And then you have uh, uh, True Colors. Then uh, we had um, Escape, which uh, was done by Raneo, not Charlie. Yeah. Um, then we had Triumph from Digital X. Okay. Those are the first five. <laughs> the rest, uh, we had the English one, the full English one, which uh, we didn't release. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it leaked, so we just let it be. Okay. Yeah, there were English tracks that were supposed to be launched in uh, Nigeria, but we had a fallout with the guys there, so we just let it be. Um, the others is uh, My Life. My Life is the one that had For You, mm -hmm. that recently came out. Yeah. And then the new one is coming out uh, in December. Okay, yeah. great. All right, let's take a breather for now. I'm still talking to you because we have, uh, we've got a lot to talk about. But for now, let's go to your acoustic performance yeah. of, uh, you talked of Kakabarika. So let's see if you can get on stage alongside James Sakala and Masi. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the acoustic version of Chameleon. And here is Kakabarika. Mafiga ye no makwata vanda mulenga ya ye chi ye 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 hi this is Ponchano Kaiche you are watching the rooftop with Ken Wang Kumbula Swan we in the building Uncle Cha Young Chef I want to thank you buddy for this one Shout out Stony Breezy for this one listen mm. If Judas would kiss Yesu in betrayal, Bushaba Chense Leva Nensu, Limbi Tebo and I, Sosha Neka Past in Jeva Tishani, Nabesti Pandalama Ninso Kamuchani, from friends to enemies, all because of Indalama. But I would see if you know Loshinga Wama. Plan was a Christmas Shama Tumba, Kulisha Fam, no Kuyo Lulum, Bikuma Bumba. Gaba Fide Fobena Kuba Bita, cause Kuban to Chala Basem now, but life goes on the same yat shima. I'm straight to the point, the same not pima. Laziness ni fertilize, I am a chushi. Go le foka for mupin, I am a chushi. A finger by voice in gum for neka, pakati pami point on a noise in gum for lesser. And then it will be sent a negative. Ga picture pakale, mm, brother, please. Uh. Let's go. Shana, Yale, Yonga, Sango, Mafia, Yawale, Titikira, Jagamu, Amu, Kanale, Mamsha, Adina Pabulu, Kabebi, Kalimu, Shira, Wenzora, Mitaka, Shano, Nachu, Chinchira, Wambi, Valeti, Wiponse, Chitofu, Mepe, Chinchi, Wala, Chulida, Chiu, Manche, Yeah. 
Taking you back to the year 2007 when that song was released and it's entitled Kakabarika off the album Another Day and he was just giving us an acoustic performance alongside James Sakala obviously on the guitar and as well as Massey on the backing vocals and we're still talking to my guest on today's show. I am talking to a legend himself and I'm talking about Chameleon. Chameleon, let's continue our interview. Let's talk about, um, you know, they've been... Obviously, your career hasn't been short of rumors and uh, hit left, and right, and center. <laughs> yeah. And the most dominant rumor is Wadidia mm. Matebe Five. I'm sure you're. <laughs> I'm sure you're used to that one. Uh, Raf, What's your reaction? Raf, Raf Kid is the one who started this rumor, man. <laughs> yeah. Ah boy, hey. Yeah. Um, it's one, actually one, just one, and there's never been another. Mm -hmm. um, that's the mother of my lovely child, Shona. We had a fallout, we, things didn't work out, and uh, but we're still friends, we're really close, and she's a good woman. How did that rumor hit you? Obviously it was everywhere, Matebe 35, people were making fun of it. Yeah. How did you react to that the first time you got it? It's just a rumor, man. Everyone has an opinion, they can give <laughs> an opinion to whatever situation they want to talk about. Um, Rafkid sang a song about it, mm -hmm. and that's when it just spread like wildfire. But um, actually speaking, it was this one. <laughs> was this Do you have beef with Rough Kid, considering no. that he he let I'm, the rumor grow big? You know, I'm I'm one artist that never listens to artists when they want to come up with beef or whatever or attend to them over that. It's it's beyond me, man. <laughs> or I'm beyond it, rather. Yeah. It's just it's it's hearsay. I mean, people talk here and there. I mean, they they have an opinion. They have the right to give an opinion on over over an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, um, I have no issues with Rafkid. We are friends. We talk. Yeah, but he should just mind his own business sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Next time he should mind his own business. <laughs> All right. Uh, people say, you know, obviously five solid albums in the public domain from the first song until the last other five albums you're listening to. Yeah. And you suddenly go quiet. The biggest question obviously from everyone is what's happening? Is it is it because you stopped working with Charlie? Why did you have to change studios? Did that contribute to your going a bit quiet off the scene? Okay, um, every artist has a phase in which they have to grow. You can't get stuck to, to one um, situation throughout or one studio. You have to grow, you have to change styles and you have but you have to pay attention to your lyrical content. It has to be in the line of, of your style of music. I worked with Charlie five albums, six albums, and um, it was time for me to fly. <laughs> yeah. So I started my own thing. That's when we did uh, my life and all the other albums that came after. But me going quiet, I do that all the time. I give myself three years to rest from music because that's how you get creative. That's how you get to soak in uh, material for the next album and stuff like that. If you produce back to back, your stuff gets watered down and your topics, are, they don't make sense anymore. So it's better to give yourself time to absorb the new material. 
great. Do you regret having left Sling Beats, Charlie Bravo, and went to work somewhere else? I'm Sling Beats for life, man. <laughs> so I didn't leave him. <laughs> At some point? Yeah. Um, I just went to other studios just to explore. So I don't regret. We, we, I call him usually. Oh, I need to write a song. Can you help me? I've written the first verse or write the second verse. So we, we work. We still okay. work together, yeah. All right. Yeah. We're still talking to you. Let's get to uh, another song. I know that uh, it was a bit difficult to pick what songs you should perform because uh, they're yeah. too numerous. <laughs> okay. Utilize your social media. Our Facebook page is The Rooftop Throwback. We are buzzing right now. You can come through and share your love with my guest on the show, who is Chameleon. And right now, let's go yet to another acoustic performance uh, with Chameleon, as well as James Sakala and Masi. And this time around, he gives us a song in terms Titled Nadiendere. Enjoy. Tetimbwekele 
tete tete nkushe baby hi this is israel and you are watching the rooftop all right so taking you back to the year 2005 when the self-titled chameleon album was actually released and it went platinum and that is a song of that album entitled Nariendere and remember my guest on today uh, on today's episode is the legend himself and I'm talking about Chameleon keep buzzing on social media remember that this is the rooftop throwback a place where we keep it hundred percent and throw you back to the early days of Zambian music just to get you reminiscing and also to show you how the industry has evolved and right now we continue with our interview with the legend chameleon <laughs> let's talk about uh, the business aspect of music at the yeah. time um i remember i'm reading one paper that must have been the post where you came out to say chameleon has made a lot of money he's a billionaire i think they filmed you on a sofa like this you made a lot of money from way back can you confirm uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is in the music industry when um the news, uh, TV is playing your music, radio is playing your music. People think money is rolling in. But you know, in this country of ours, our small country, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the numbers, you need numbers to make money. You need numbers to make money. That's why countries like Nigeria and um, South Africa, when you release an album, you sell for $1. By the time it's a month, you find that 12 million people have bought your copies. and. Again, speaking, the numbers will make you rich if your product is right. But now in Zambia, it's a different story. You have to market your product differently. Um, you have to make sure it reaches all corners of the country. And at that time, distribution was a problem. So he stuck to, there was Super Shine and there was uh, some company in uh, Mkushi. Mm -hmm. So we used to travel to Mkushi to make tapes. <laughs> yeah. So it was difficult until Super Shine came in. They tried to distribute and then piracy came in and ah, piracy has killed us. Okay. It really killed us. So the numbers were wrong. Okay. So people were listening to the music on the radio, but piracy was killing us. So, so that didn't, like the, the more hits, uh, you know, the albums didn't really translate into money. They didn't translate into money. If there was money, then I didn't see money. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah. let's talk about your songs. You singing predominantly about love. You are seemingly a ladies' man, and mm. every lady actually out there embraces your music. Yeah. Having said that, have you ever dated anyone from the industry? No. Be honest, Kimi. No. <laughs> Be honest, because I'll reveal. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Um, no, never, never, never. If you had to date someone from the industry, mm. randomly, who would you pick? Mom. Why? Because I like her, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mampi, so, right? you, you heard why? that. <laughs> you know why? I'll yeah. tell you why. I've known Mampi from the time she was completely nothing. She was used to stay in, uh, she used to live in um, Villa Wang. Uh -huh. That's why I met her. She was introduced to the studio. We actually introduced her to the studio and until where she is now. So I've seen her all, her whole career blossom and she's a, she's a good artist and she's working hard and she's done good things for herself right now and I'm happy for her so okay. yeah. Good. So all these works that you've done for the industry contributed greatly obviously to the growth of Zamin music. Um, do you feel you are being appreciated enough as someone that has done a lot of works for the industry? No. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Um, you know, it's different when people tell you, ah, uli mukadi, uli mukadi, but they're not doing anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're going to say someone is good, give him an opportunity to sing in Australia. Call someone that you know somewhere, say, oh, I've hooked you up with a show, this and that, you know, I've got a promoter this side, maybe this promoter can help you. Let's do this for you. Let's uh, sponsor your album, let's sponsor your video, as opposed to just saying, mukali, mukali, mukali. You're not doing any good, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. people loving the music, they love it, but, you know, the helping hand is not there. <laughs> Great. And in music, you know, it, it really helps you if you're getting enough sponsorship, because you can't do everything alone especially in Zambia, so we try by all means to ask people for help here and there, but it doesn't come through, so that's why we end up doing things ourselves, and doesn't we're still work here, well. yeah. we're still here. Great. Um, you've been away for a long time now, I know that you've been in, 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 in SA. Um, 
Are you there for long? Have you moved to SA or you'll be back in Zambia? Uh, I started, by the way, I started communicating with this guy. I think I, I got on you too much. I was calling him every time just to come for this show because our inbox was buzzing literally. Everyone wanted to see Kemidian. So I hope that people are satisfied out there. <laughs> and yes, I got him from SA. He's here. Are you back in Zambia or you'll be going back to SA? Um, I've got two homes. Yeah. SA and here. I, um, I went to school in SA. Yeah. So my family is here. My mother, my sisters. I've also got sisters here as well. So it's home, two homes. So I'm either there or here. Okay. Yeah, I haven't moved. <laughs> okay. So I'm just either there or here. Okay. I, I usually go there to like shoot videos and uh, make more music. So right now we're shooting videos for the new album. Okay. Yeah. Great. Man, I'd like to thank you so much. And uh, let me tell you what, if you don't feel appreciated by anyone else, just know that Ken, Ken One does like really too much. So thank you so much for keeping the music alive and, you know, for, 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 for introducing a genia that everyone now is appreciating thank you so much thank you very much all right so there you have it ladies and gentlemen i was talking to my guest chameleon and uh, he's been my guest on the show we've talked about a lot of issues but remember that he will be closing the show with another acoustic performance so all you can do is stick uh, to this show and continue buzzing on social media and right now actually we get a breather and we go to the music and it gives us an acoustic version again with james sakala as well as Marcy, and it gives us a song this time around entitled Ukwa Bolaiwe. Enjoy. Ukubana Banandi, Chanyam Bino Kuamapo, Ukuchino Kubana Iwe, Anale Pushafe, Fiakuria Pofiri Pushe. Shamweni <laughs> Shale kuposa kuna mando Rudia waya Na shini kisha Tieti njika neneka Ukwa mula iwe Mayo wati Ichu mate tichishite Umu chinshi wale mpela Impia te te shimbo ishele Uku wama kube Nifienge chimu ticha uma Weshe fula ise imbuze Iwe Kuti mweshe nshita yesu Fingi ni ngachinja Teti ndenge ushe Nde kufaya Lopia chila wela Jire fwayo kwika la neka No 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 Oh oh Pia kariba Nale mwona Watina le kupela Fiyose Kanshi Nusha le kuposa kona mando Tulia waya Nashi nikisha Deti njika le neka Kwa mula webo Mayo wani Kupela fiyonse Kanshi Mshale kuposa kuna mando Tulia waya Na shini kisha Kijika lini kando Ukwa mula iwe Ukwa mula iwe Bebe wandi Ukwa mula iwe This is the Zambian Fume Factory. Fume Factory. Celebrate Zambia. Yes, Mother Zambia. We are the Zambian Fume Factory. Zambian Fume Factory. This is what we do, baby. 
gender violence. You push an idea, she die legacy. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Translating ideas into real life production. You will not Great productivity, beautiful ideas, creative concepts. We are the Zambian Film Factory. <laughs> The Zambian Film Factory, the power to become. Zion, your time is now to shine. Film Factory. Film Factory, the power to become. Naiwe, Naiwe, Naiwe. Hi, this is Danny Kaya. You're watching the rooftop with Cat One, Kafka. <laughs> All right, so that is a song entitled Ukwabulaiwe of the album True Colors, and we are talking of music of Chameleon. Remember that this is the rooftop throwback, and you and I have to get interactive right now. We're buzzing on social media, so why not get that phone and buzz us up on Facebook? Search for the rooftop throwback, like the page if you haven't done that yet, so that. You can be part of the family. And ladies and gentlemen, my guest has been uh, the legend himself, and I'm talking about Chameleon. He's blessed us with a lot of songs, and uh, right now we're pressed for time, and it's about that time that we have to call it a wrap. It's been an exciting show. Thank you so much to all of you for making this show your number one show. Thank you to the production team as well. Uh, thank you to Mr. Nelson on camera. Thank you as well to Gibson uh, Galas on camera as well, and everybody else. Thank you to Fume Factory. Rex, thank you so much. Munyemesha, Munyemesha, M2, if you like. I salute you. I've been your host and I'm yours truly, Ken One. Remember that rooftop a eh, last vagam. Wadi pike ne pia kulia iwe tuadi dide Babu shaku nchito wa njebe dati Ukuli konse mwinga sangwa sweeti Hakono kulabati Hine nari mite mwafi Kanshi wali babu lendo Uwa ulo kulayando Kanshi waniwe Ushe ni kwisawaya Shika shana iwe Sheni kwisa waya Aba nanti bala nti kusha Naba nubi bala nti kusha Nafi manu kwa suka Sheni kwisa waya Nitu na pwedele Na sangire pje Na ulonga na huya Na lipa pile he Nena chilimbi kuseka fiege Na lipe mele au chari chachinde Mitapka shubaka wile Na lisangine nekalata Ati baby shalapo inena ya Ipi wanchita shapape na ulambata Wishi bebyati umutima na chingaka Chiwandiwe Usheni kwisa waya, tika sana iwe Usheni kwisa waya, haba nanti bala njipusha Naba nobe bala njipusha, nafiru wano kwa suka Usheni kwisa waya, kashi wandiwe Usheni kwisa waya, tika sana iwe Usheni kwisa waya, haba nanti bala njipusha Naba nobe bala njipusha Nafiru <laughs> 